one time i was diagnosed of a terrible fungal infection that ate my head completely hair was never supposed to grow on my head as you see today never it literally ate my i was a young boy let me show you the process of great men i was in secondary school then and because of my situation the students complained that i was irritating them and they stopped me from going to the dining hall they banned me completely so every time others were going to go and eat they would keep me back i would have to beg someone and give him my plate and say please don't forget to get food for me i didn't know it was a process hear me behind every glory there is a story behind every crown there is a price that was why it was that experience that started bringing me to know the holy spirit because i didn't have a friend I did who would be my friend who wanted trouble on his head so when I was left alone I said since men rejected me spirit of the living God will you also leave me and it started leading me to pray I couldn't talk to men they didn't want to be my friends but today my intimacy with the Holy Spirit has become a blessing to the nations the process are you getting what I'm teaching you now very serious situation there no matter how early I came for the assembly I had a permanent seat at the back even if I was the first to come I would have to go and sit down my mother came to visit me one day and she began to cry and say God but what did I do that my son has this condition how many of you know the iron sponge ladies iron sponge that you scrub the back of pot they used it on my head to scrub my head. Iron sponge that you used to scrub, they used it on my head. I know what it means like when a crown of thorn was put on his head. I've tasted it. They took me to a lab and cultured my head and took the sample they created some drugs and some lotions for me we we'll find somewhere to pray but i want you to get this the law of process i didn't know that one day the lord will mandate me to be ministering to a generation but it was a price i was going through god will usually not tell you where you are going you just continue to move and sometimes it looks like you are not moving The students ran away from me I will never forget the night when there was no water and I would have to put my head in the rain outside so that it can soak my head to put a particular soap that I'll rub on my head now I stand before the God of heaven and I tell you the truth the day God will heal me from this we went for a wedding and I forgot my drugs if I forgot it for one day it will show I knew I was in trouble I knew I was finished I slept that night and I had a very strange encounter I woke up by morning and over 70% of the wounds had disappeared supernaturally I said what is this how do you become a miracle worker and believe in miracles when your life is not a miracle itself Today, when I want to minister to people, I remember those days and faith rises within me. Yes, God is able. Are we together? Our first crusade, the whole people in the crusade ground were not more than 50. After laboring and fasting, dry fast, all kinds of fast. You prepare and you stand there and they were old people and they were all sick you know these village people around where i come from they, they they were so sick so when i said it's time to pray for the sick 
I was thinking just one or two people. I saw, and you know, old people, if they are not healed, they will say they are not healed. It will not be a young man who will say, ah, okay, I will pity you. There were all sorts of people. I said, God, you have to show up here. Otherwise, know what to do with us. Then I began to see the miracles of God. Now, I'm sharing this with you because you are in a phase right now you are praying oh god let this face leave me the answer is not for it to leave you lord grace to continue my track record because that track record will qualify you for the throne you are being called into listen i did not start ministry just preaching i shared it with uh, somewhere in 1994 i used to play keyboard for the prison ministry that ministered to obas and John. This man standing before you i played the keyboard for part of the prison ministry that used to go and minister in the prison where president obasanjo was it's a track record nobody ever told me thank you the only thing they gave me was one bottle of one time sir i was invited for a meeting i fasted three days for that meeting listen when i was done with that meeting the meeting was not very far from where I lived and it was raining heavily. I said, Lord, but your people need to hear the word. No car, no nothing, nobody knew me, no nothing. I said, Lord, if I must be wet for souls to be saved, let that happen. I got up. I didn't even have an umbrella. I entered that rain like that. I was praying in tongues, heavy rain. I said, Lord, this is for your glory. This is not for any fame while i was in that rain heaven was watching it's like an exam now when i got to the church i was going to minister do you know what there was no seat prepared for me they had to say i should wait somewhere near the the zinc and then they now shifted a few people and said okay there's a seat come and sit down i was so wet there they acted drama they joked they acted poems and then they now said man of god sorry our time is gone uh, you just have 10 minutes can you just find a way of squeezing everything into it i said no problem it was a test of love it was a test of love it was a test of love can you still love under pressure i finished in 10 minutes and then i came out and i remember i was trying to look for a bike to just take me home because I was so drenched and wet and the man just shook me and said uh, it's all right you will hear from me eh? may God bless you I said okay he was thinking I was expecting something I didn't even know that they used to bless people after preaching it was from the depth of my heart a track record a track record I remember one time there was a group of men of God together we were going to minister and the time was limited it was a vigil but later they cancelled it and they wanted to cause trouble among us because everybody now wanted to preach i said do you know what i relinquish everything i said no 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 no. you can't do this you are the major speaker i said no please you people should preach i will stay behind when it's time to pray for the sick i will come and join you it's with all pleasure they said no 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 that way we will not preach so i said no please test that the greater one is the one who can go back i thought all these things were god hating me let me tell you there was a time in my life this man you see i would buy food for 30 naira and ask the woman don't put meat there if you add meat you will pay the meat money by yourself i would buy bread and ginger you know this kind of ginger that you that is in a seal five ten naira i would buy it with granot and put it inside and while i'm eating i was having encounters but there was nobody to honor that grace i knew it was only a matter of time who is god speaking to this afternoon i traveled to ibadan when I got to Ibadan, we are going to pray. 
I went to a hotel called Premier Hotel. It's up the mountain. And that night, I remember how stranded I was. There was no hope of having money to eat, not to even talk of. I saw people come, convoys. People were coming to enter the hotel. And I was just looking at it and I said, my God, look at this. And one day I, st I stood in front of that hotel and I said, the word of God will take me to this place. I know it's a matter of time. Now watch this. A few years after that encounter, I was going to minister somewhere in Ibadan and there was a convoy of people driving me. Guess where they were taking me to? The same hotel. As soon as they dropped me there, I stood they didn't know why I was emotional. I could still see the faces I saw a few years ago. Ah. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Jesus, who has laughed at you all? You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus. Now watch this. They took me to the highest floor. This was many years ago. And when they kept me there, I went with some of these my people. And these guys were swimming and playing table tennis outside. I was watching them from my room. I said, it's not your fault. I mean, they were enjoying the worth of, they were swimming their destinies out, enjoying themselves, playing table tennis. I was watching from the window. When he sends a word to Jacob, it is because of Israel. When he sends a word, when he allows you to pass through that fire, it's because he saw that you have the stamina for it. Is God speaking to us? The law 